I had someone ask me some questions that I thought were really good questions and I thought I would go ahead and just answer the questions on video. So the first question was, if you don't have a garment in mind of making, like to say when I'm out shopping, they wanted to know how much fabric do I purchase? And my answer is I typically will buy three yards. So if I'm out and I see a fabric that I'm just crazy about, but I don't have anything in mind, I will go ahead and usually purchase around three yards of fabric. Okay, the next question was, on this same line, this same topic, do you buy your pattern and material at the same time? And for me, I rarely do that. And that's because most often I buy my patterns when they're on sale. So I usually just go in and grab, you know, maybe 10 or however many patterns I'm going to get. I will grab all of those at once, then take them home. So I usually don't follow that up with buying any fabric at the same time. So I'll just buy the patterns, take them home, and then store them away so that I'll have them when I'm ready to make something. Okay, then the third question on this same topic was, do you pick your patterns according to the amount of material that you have? So my answer for this is yes. So this, partic this will come into play usually when I'm out shopping and I thrift fabric. So if I thr thrift something, you know, I'm purchasing the fabric for whatever they have it on sale for. So whatever the amount is, you know, because they're not going to cut any fabric for you at the thrift store. It is what it is. So I will buy the fabric and whatever amount that I have, I will come home and then try to lay everything out and figure out what I can make out of that amount of fabric. Now another time that I do this same technique is if I'm making something from scraps. So I will just go through my scraps, pour them out on the table, kind of place them out like puzzle pieces and look at everything and see what coordinates. And then I'll try to see what patterns I have that will fit and work with the fabric that I have, you know, with the pieces that I have. So that's how I do that. So those are three questions that I thought were really interesting and I wanted to just go ahead and share. So now this leads me into my sewing make for today. The first one that I want to share with you is a thrifted fabric that I shared in a recent vlog that I did where I went shopping at Savers when I was out in Arizona. So I purchased this beautiful fabric. It was like a tinsel rayon and it was about four yards of fabric which was great because I was able to do just about anything with that amount of fabric. So what I decided to make was a dress and I made Butterick 6350. I made View D and this was actually a really great pattern to make with this amount of fabric because the pattern called for four, over four yards of fabric. I think it was like four and an eighth or something like that but I had plenty so I was able to make this dress which I had been looking at for a while but I didn't really want to go out and purchase that much fabric but when I found it at the thrift store I thought it was just great so now this dress has bottom ruffled gathers it has side pockets and then it's sleeveless so it's really easy it's rated as easy it has neck and armhole facings and then like I said it took over four yards of fabric but this dress I love the way that it flowed in this fabric I thought it was a really nice match so I will go ahead and show you what that looks like on in a little bit so next I want to share with you the second sewing make that you will see now my second sewing make is this top that I'm wearing and this is an indie pattern and I made this pattern from the company Friday Pattern Co or Friday Pattern Company and the top is called the Grace Top and what I really liked about it when I saw it was this neckline and it's called a funnel neckline and I really thought it was unique and I liked it so much so I had to purchase it now this pattern does come in a PDF or paper I prefer paper so I went ahead and purchased the paper pattern and it didn't take long to come in the mail so that was great I purchased this knit fabric from Joanne Fabrics and it was really easy to make it's only two pieces the front and the back and those two pieces are cut on the fold so it was really simple to make I love the way that the top came out one thing that I would do differently if I make it again which I definitely plan to do 
is I will definitely go down a size because I think it's just a little bit too big but it's okay I can wear it and it's very comfortable but I definitely will go down a size when I make it the next time some of the features which I already mentioned there is a funnel neckline the back is a slight racer back it's not very deep so it's just a little bit of a racer back and then it has a high low hem so yes I will show you what that looks like if I haven't already just put up some clips but yes so I will go ahead and show you what the dress looks like on Alright, so those are my two makes for this video. Before I go, I just want to leave you with a love share. So now, if you ever go to Starbucks and you order a drink like a hot beverage like a tea or a coffee and it is just a little bit too hot and you can't really drink it, one thing I learned that you can do is you can ask for your beverage to be made at a kid's temperature. That kid's temperature will usually be somewhere between 130 degrees to 140 degrees and that will make your hot beverage more potable. So I just wanted to share that because I thought that that was a good tip and especially if you're buying a hot beverage for a kid you can order it that same way and then the kid can go ahead and drink that beverage and not have to worry about burning their tongue or anything like that. So I want, oop, my clipboard almost fell. So I wanted to share that with you and that is it for this video. Thank you so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.